One, two. <laughs> okay, one, two, three. Hi, welcome back to another episode of I Read This Book. My name is Sarthak Bharadwaj. And I'm Nishant Mittal. And today we will be talking about Ikigai, the alleged Japanese secret to a long lasting and happy life. Now, both of us have read this book and we will try to discuss this book in this video. However, I do believe Nishan's perspective ought to be a lot more fresh because I believe you read it recently, right? So let's start with you, Nishan. Tell us about Ikigai. What's it about? So Ikigai is about uh, the secret to long and happy life. <laughs> is it? <laughs> so what this book talks about is basically uh, the life of people living in Okinawa, an island in Japan, which is famous for a lot of centenarians. Like you see 100-year-old people riding bicycles and whatnot. So the writers go to that island and talk to people there. How are they managing to be so happy and living so such long lives? So what they're trying to figure out uh, is the secret, as they say, of a long and happy life. So they explore a lot of areas of life, such as food, habits, like what kind of food do you eat? And then what kind of workout do you do every day? What's the social aspect of that life? What's the community aspect of that life and so on. And then they try to put a formula to it. So that's what Ikigai is about. So that's would you solution. like to... Yes, yes, yes. Uh, that's about it. That's what the book is essentially about. So let's talk a little about what these secrets, mm -hmm. so to say, were. A few that I can recall from the, uh, you know, that, that, that are at the top of my brain is... One, to be, to, to care about things only which are important and not urgent. And uh, then the concept of applying the concept of mindfulness, that is to immerse yourself totally and completely into what you're doing and essentially to put your heart and soul into it and so on and so forth. So what's your take on So I really liked a few aspects like, you know, when you're eating, eat, fill your stomach only 80%. Mm which eat less than, you know, when you're filled to the brim, as they say. So eat less, lesser than the maximum capacity. Uh, be active physically. Mm -hmm. Go meet people. Be happy. So there's no science to it. But what happens is like... Yeah, so I, I want to ask you a question which I think will give you a head start into what you're uh -huh. about to say. Are there parts of this book mm -hmm. that you didn't like or you don't essentially subscribe to yeah so as as a reader as a writer as as a person who you know l likes to read a lot of books mm -hmm. i found this book posturing fake science talk, trying talk more elaborate. so what happens is like you are seeing people living a very happy life and you go end up talking to them and ask them why and how are they being able to live such a long and happy life mm. And they tell you that I just live a happy I'm, I'm, I don't know why I'm I don't know living, the secret. I don't know the secret. It's just a good life. I eat these apples a lot. You know. I got to breathe fresh air. Yeah, I got to breathe fresh air. I've got good friends. I'm living a cool life. That's what the girl says. I'm the woman who's like 120. Who's interviewed in Ikigai. She says like uh, she dies at 122 and in her last interview, which happened two years earlier, when she was 120, she says... I see badly, I feel badly, I hear badly, but, yeah, I, yeah, yeah. but everything is fine. So, there is no... So, the people whom they interview tell them that there's no secret to it. I'm just living a happy life. I, I like it, you know, it's a good life. That's what they say. Now, these writers, what they do is like, they can't say that to people. Right? There's no secret of a happy life. There's no, now, they started writing a book. They need to back it up. You know, they need to make it sound like a research so they draw this Venn diagram, what you want, what you are good at, what people are willing to pay you for, and all sorts of fake scientific posturing to something which is deeply personal, artistic, and non-scientific, which is a happy life, a long life. So they write an entire chapter on Flow. Flow is a book written by Mehali Chicks in Mehali. 
Mm. Uh, I've read that book. I've read derivations of that book. A lot of books written on flow. Mm. So that book sto- that book talks about how people lose track of time when they're doing something very n- personal to them, very nice, like a writer writing for hours and forgetting about time. Musician playing. It's on an entrepreneur working on his product. A lawyer writing a good defense. Mm-hmm. Sometimes we all lose track of something which is very close to us. Doing that, that's flow. So these guys write an entire chapter on flow, and trying to relate it with a long and happy life. Even though they know that it has not got nothing to do with, they write a chapter on anti fragility. Book by a book by Nasim Taleb. Taleb. Of course, I am a fan. I read that and and I, and I laugh. What are you trying to sell? Are you trying to sell? a science based formula on a long and happy life because there isn't any and if you're trying to back up a simple concept of ikigai a bunch of old people living happily and try to sell it as a formula it's wrong i i don't i don't so, like appreciate it at all so you wouldn't recommend this book to people I would just say that you want to know what's written in the book I'll tell you eat less than you know the full capacity live a good life happy life relax try to do good that's all that's all there is to it and then say is there a formula no that's all well, still you want to read this book go ahead but I've already summarized in like 5 seconds well there are a bunch of reasons why I would recommend this book to people yeah, of course one which deviates from the central ideas of this book but has a lot to do with reading mm-hmm one this book is written in simple clear and lucid terms mm-hmm. and it's an easy fun read mm-hmm. and this is a thin book mm-hmm. which you can finish i believe in about 2 or 2 and a half hours yeah 3 hours max right 180 something pages so finishing a book in itself is a great sense of achievement to people who are just starting out with reading mm-hmm. that's one mm-hmm. second some of these ideas which this book talks about go a long way in helping people who are less enriched with the experiences that life has to offer mm-hmm. if i may say so because i remember when i read this book i was taking my board examinations and at that point in time the only thing which was going on in my mind was if i don't do fairly well in my board examinations if i don't do decently in my entrance examinations my whole world will crashing down and i distinctly remember that the ideas of this book that everything will be all right because there are things you can do mm-hmm. to make sure that things go according to plan if there is a plan mm-hmm. and they really helped me maybe not not really in a practical way but psychologically so i think that's one of the reasons to read this book now that's a perfectly reasonable explanation and i totally go with that endorsement this book will make you feel nice mm. this but do not my request is that do not take it as science sure it's not sure. a science book it's not a formula no, following this formula to t will not yield anything sure might not yield anything so it's a book which has to be taken as sathak said with a sense of psychological achievement yes and positivity and positivity yeah, yeah if if you want to feel good not just about you but about how good the world can be yeah and it's a good it's a good time to be alive mm. it's a good place to live in the world's not a bad place thing exactly like that. yeah okinawa sure. is a good island i would sure. love to visit it <laughs> <laughs> yeah yeah so. but it remains up to the discretion of the reader to decide that whether these so called secrets mm-hmm. are actually secrets oh. or are they obvious and right in front of our face yeah or are they just like you know just like life just like life yeah. just like life there is no explanation to it yeah that's true Hashtag <laughs> this philosopher <really. laughs> so that was I the ninth that, yeah. episode of i read this book Have a long way with your support and uh, yeah if you are liking this we are glad yes just let us know in comments and uh, we'd we'd love to have you yeah it was a great episode man the ninth episode of i read this book see you take care good night